Here's a really interesting way to use the max function, and I'm gonna show you how you can use it to find the most frequent item in a list. Now, the max function takes in a sequence, so basically we can say, show me the max of a given sequence. So if I run it normally with this list here, and hitting run, we get 10, because 10 is the biggest number in this list. However, you can also give the max function an additional input, and this is what's known as a key. And the key is basically the metric of what defines the maximum. So we could use something like length, first letter, last letter, etc. In this case, I'm going to do something rather special. I'm going to say data dot counts like this here. So what's happening this time? This is going to go through this and count how many times 10 appears, five appears, 10 appears, and so on. Running it again, we see we get 10 because 10 appears the most. Let's switch up a little bit. And now we get five because five appears the most. However, there is something rather inefficient about doing it this way. Because we're going over a list here and we have duplicated items, this is actually going to count how many times five appears and then count how many times that five then appears again. So what we can do to prevent this is pass data into the set function here. This now means we only count how many times five appears once, same for 10 and same for six. So this smart little one-liner is a nice simple way to find out what's the most frequently occurring item given a sequence.